Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be talking about how to make your audio sound better with Audacity for your YouTube contents. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and let's get on with the video. Now to get your audio from this, this is a test recording for this video. To this, this is a test recording for this video. You need to use a tool called Audacity. So if you go to the homepage, that's audacityteam.org. I'm going to leave this link in our description for you to check. So if you go to the homepage, simply scroll down here and download this tool in your PC. And if you see here, this tool is available for different platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So once you download this tool, you'll come across similar layout to this one. I've already added the sound. Now let's say if you want to change or if you want to boost your sound quality, you can simply use a few tools here. First of all, you will need to leave a few seconds before you start speaking. So if you see here this gap, I have not spoken in this area. So this is about five seconds. You can leave about a few seconds and then you start speaking in your videos. Now what you need to do is simply highlight this area where you haven't spoken. And once you highlight this area, you need to go to effects. Once you go to effect, you need to go for noise reduction. And once you go to noise reduction, you need to simply click on this button here that says get noise profile. It's taken that highlighted part and now you need to select the whole audio reduce noise in this clip. Once you go to effect again, click on noise reduction and then simply click OK. And you will notice some of the background noise here will be removed. Now you keep this area highlighted and go on effect again. Once you go on effect, then click on filter curve EQ. So once you click on filter curve and you have this uh, menu there, then click on manage, go to factory presets and click on bass boost and then press OK. Now if you see here, there is a bit of movement in this area. Then if you go to effect again, go to filter curve curve and manage again and then go to factory preset and then click treble boost. Now this effect has been applied and there is some change in this area again. Now keep this area highlighted and go to effect again and we'll go to filter curve again and then go to manage and factory preset and this time we are going to select low roll off for speech and press OK. Now after applying all these effects then you simply go to effect again and look for compressor and click OK. Now finally you leave this uh, area highlighted and go to effect and look for an option called limiter. Go to limiter section and under type you need to select heart limit and press OK. Further effects been added in your clip. I personally think it's much better than what it was. If you want to know the comparison I'm going to play both of these clips from this this is a test recording for this video. To this. This is a test recording for this video. Question of the day is which tool do you use in order to make your audio sound better for your YouTube? Give this video a thumbs up if you think this has brought some value and don't forget to watch these videos you may find useful. Take care, stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you.